Hey everyone, it's Shan from Raining Pups. Welcome to another wonderful unedited video. Today we are going, hopefully, to play our game that I started a few weeks ago. I checked my little tablet out and it seemed to be functioning. So we can get started and I hope you are all enjoying these little random game things. So right now, just gotta open it up. See, it's working, I'm so happy. And then it says something. Uh, okay, we're good, we are good. And it's this one. So as I'm going to be preparing, right here we have our game. We have Funko Pops, a favorite, oh, what did I say? Random activity, which is like a craft or something random. Memory Lane, where I will just reminisce on uh, nostalgia. Pretty much just everything I'll be reminiscing on. I'll just be nostalgic. Because all the stuff I have, I love. I enjoy. And it, everything has a, a certain memory and, you know, just fondness. And Anyway, moving on. We have story. I will tell you a random story. Or I have some uh, books to share with you. You know, we're just going to have fun. And, you know, do something different. Um... I'm setting up again. I think I told you last week about my background. It's still in the works, but I have working on uh, getting all my Valentine stuff together for next month. So also next month is Chinese Spring Festival, which is Chinese New Year. So we will also celebrate together, which is really cool. And the reason I celebrate it is because of my husband. So anyway, it's fun. Okay, so enough with the rambling we will play are you ready so i think we go up here we go oh it makes noise i didn't know it makes noise story okay so this is going to be our first story so Let's see, our first story. What can I say? I think I will get a book because I really wasn't prepared for a story. That's how random things are. So I won't tell you a whole story. In fact, what I will do is, if I can get this out, I hit something that I think, like story, is going to be do this. Pie in the Sky, Uncle Scrooge. I love DuckTales growing up. Love DuckTales. Um, it's my favorite cartoon. Anything adventure like DuckTales. Um, I like the Indiana Jones. I think there was a cartoon Johnny Quest. I like, um, let's see. I liked Scooby-Doo. The Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, Adventures of the Gummy Bears. I'm trying to think of other TV shows, but I think I will save all those when if we hit TV shows. So anyway, I like to collect these just, you know, these kind of classic uh, comics. So here's, I, I think this is kind of an updated thing, but one of the classic comics that I have Or actually, I will show you right in here. I have it in a plastic bag. But these are my uh, DuckTail comics. And I want to keep them nice in the bag. And they're pretty, you know, they're pretty old. This is, let's see, issue number two. And I have just, I think that's two and three, four. Just, these are based on the original early 90s. I think it's in the 90s. I'm bad with math. I'm bad with numbers, technology. But I'm good with having fun. So, other than that, it's an old comic. <laughs> I don't know the exact year. But this comic was originally $1.50. So this one is a bit newer. I have some comics that are 
in a, let's see, I'm going to try to find a good one. That's, you know, uh, this guy here, Carl Barks. Oops, sorry. Bumped my camera. I'm sorry. And uh, the other person, I think last name is Rose or Rosa something. Anyway, they make these really cool comics. And the artwork is amazing. And, and this is a whole other person, William Van Horn. So... But I just want to show you, um, you know, just kind of the remake of the, see, isn't that cool? Kind of the, the remake of some of the cartoons. And in the back, they give you some information about the story and the different artworks. So... I think that's pretty cool. And I know I'm supposed to tell you a story. So technically I'm kind of telling you a story about the comic books <laughs> and the, the person. But um, let me just read you a little bit from here and show it to you. Let's see if I can. If I can't, then I know I can. Which I'll just show you a couple of pages. And... I don't think I can read it because I can't read backwards and I can't see the camera very clearly. So let us do, well, since I showed you the first page, I'll show you the second page. <laughs> yeah, okay. I hope you guys don't mind. This is unedited and this is kind of a, you know, the game thing is kind of a random thing I am doing. And so I will tell you more stories, random stories. So yeah, I had those comic books. <laughs> um, something I can show you, which are, which is really cool. Most of you know, I like Batman. I really like Batman. Um, these are the DC detective comics from a long time ago and these are just the cover of the comics and it's a cute little book um I think I don't remember where I got this but looking at these old detective so you know it's like I think this is the first issue March 1937, which is the uh, Detective Comics, Batman starts in the page of Detective Comics is legendary. So, which is in March 1937, the series introduced Batman to the world in the issue number 27 so batman was introduced to the world in this comic uh the detective comics in issue 27 wow. so that's pretty cool and so they have you know a lot of these little things and you know 10 cents 10 cents a comic how wonderful was that back then and now it goes on and on we're getting into seeing batman I'm just kind of, now we see Batman and Robin. I'm not going to go over all of this with you. I'm just going to show you this. And we'll go to the very last one. And this is, so we went from 10 cents to this comic. It looks like it introduced Polka Dot Man, the bizarre Polka Dot Man. It's his introduction. And this is from 10 cents from the beginning to now 12 cents. So yeah, it's when things are getting more expensive. But just the details, I love details. And 
you know, well, that's it <laughs> for that. So let us continue because I probably should take away stories. I might be more bad with stories and stick with memory lane. Anyway, moving on with that, let us continue doing one more thing. Ready? Let's see what we get. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, 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 uh. Random activity. Okay, so let's do a random activity. This is going to be fun because I've been preparing for a while, hoping we have some fun. And in the back of my mind, random thought, I need to think of a title for this video, which I have not thought of yet because now we have done two little games, one story, and we're going to do a random activity. So my random activity that I have been excited and preparing for, ah, box slip, is making something pretty cool. So what I'm going to make, I'm going to make a kind of an aquarium of Funko Pops and little random things. How am I going to do it? I'm not going to use water. I'm not going to use, um, what is it? Resin? I know resin, you have to have certain types of measurement for the resin, right? I'm not going to do resin, even though that would be cool, but I am clumsy and I will do something and heal too much. I don't know, but to keep it simple, to keep it fun, slime. I have clear slime. And I have some blue slime. Thanks from Five Below. You know, you can find some really cute little activities for really cheap. That and Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put some of this blue slime first to cover up the bottom. And then we're going to put the uh, clear slime in. So after that, I have another thing of uh, slime. And after that, we will be finding out what we're going to put in our little thing here. Now, I'm, can I get the sticker off and cleanly? Ooh, I can, I can, ha ha ha, yes. Okay, not sticky. I got the sticker off. Okay, and I scared my dogs. My dogs are fine. All right, here we go. And, once again, I do not know where I put my scissors. Are they behind me? No, they are not. So, hmm, I don't even know where the pen is either. Anyway, when I was a kid, I can't find something. I just use a pencil and poke a hole and go from there. Then that works. Not very well, but it works. <laughs> Gotta get the plastic. And I think this thing broke at some point, but I really don't need that. Just open this up. Yep, here we go. Almost there. Almost there, there we go. Aha, I'm excited. Okay, slime does have a smell. <laughs> so here's the clear one. I wanted to open, I got excited. I wanted to do the blue first, right? Okay, so I'm gonna poke a hole. Here we go. And I'm gonna forget about the rest of the plastic as long as I can open it. There we go. All right. So yeah, here, there we have the slime. So, oh, this is a very, I wanted to find the clear blue because I wanted to do the clear, but I couldn't. But I think that this would be a good bottom. So let me see if I can move this down a little bit. Okay, I cannot. So I probably got too big of a container for this but I can improvise 
what I can do. Sometimes I get too excited. I don't measure things well and I am searching. What can I do? And again, my videos are unedited all for fun. Okay. So I see a, I don't want the, I don't want this to leak out. That, okay. Do I have, ah, I know what I can do. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in here for now. We're going to use this because it's clear. <laughs> Let's move that, put that in there. See if we can take this sticker off. I got the big one. Okay, we cannot see it, so it makes it dirty, but all right. No, it's sticky. Anyway, it's like, can't win. The reason I got the bigger one, because I wanted to put a Funko Pop in there. But I lack, I lack the, the gel or not the gel, the slime. But I'm not going to fear because I, I am going to wing it. Yes. So we're going to wing it, completely wing it. Now let's do a little aquarium then. So we're gonna put the blue slime as the base. And let's get some now what's really cool in aquariums you might ask you can't have an aquarium without a Spongebob or a Patrick well you can but anyway you know just something cute and 